Oh yeah, I'm gonna moss this kid. Watch this, guys. Oh yeah, easy. Give me that. Alright, so here's the video on how to get better in Football Fusion. Basically, a tutorial slash tips for wide receiver. Best tips is timing, mags, routing, and reeling. These are probably the most important tips if you want to become a better wide receiver. And you guys should know how to do these correctly in order to become better. As you can see here, this is what not to do. See, if you jump too early, you're not going to catch the ball because that's just... You're going to be on the ground by the time they catch it. That's not what you want to do. Instead, you want to jump better. This is what you need to do. You need to time your jump out perfectly so you can catch the ball. As you can see, I timed mine out perfectly. That's why I stole the ball and I mossed him. Even though he's my brother, that's why I mossed him. Light work, as you can see, because I timed it out right. Let's watch this replay again. Look at this. Light work. Like, oh my goodness. I'm telling you, this tutorial will help you a lot. As you can see right here, I timed it perfectly to catch the ball over him for easy moss. So I got the interception. Light work. Yeah. When it comes to magging, magging really decides on your ping and your internet, but it also depends on how you play. If you see in this clip, I dived way too early and the ball went over me. That was an easy mag right there and I missed it because I suck as you can see. In the next clip, I'm going to show you what to do and how to not suck at magging the ball. Alright, here we go. This is what you need to do when magging. As you can see, he threw the ball perfect. You need a time you jump out perfectly and you need to dive perfectly. As you can see, the ball will go into my hands for amazing, beautiful mag as you just saw right there. Oh my goodness, that was clean. Reeling is really easy. It's really simple. All you have to do is when he throw the ball outside, you swerve, you jump and swerve. And as you swerve, you dive in bounds. You don't want to go too far out because if you do, it's going to be a legal catch. So you want to stay on the white line for easy reel so it doesn't get considered an illegal catch. And that is really how you reel. It's pretty simple as you can see as I got a touchdown right there. When it comes to routing, I know DBs like to PR a lot. And so if you run straight, you see as you can see, I'm not really going to have a burn at all. And all the QB is going to have to do is toss it up and hope for me to catch it. As you can see, which I am going to catch it because I'm a beast as you can see right there. Now here are a couple of my routes that I like doing. It is one I like doing a super deep cut inside and then cut outside as it will take the DB off of me. As you can see, look at that beautiful routing right there this is what happens when you do a beautiful route look at the like dude crazy length you could have and if the kiwi could fit it which he doesn't it's all right you can have an amazing touchdown here's another route i like using too it's one of my favorite twos where you do zigzags basically to mess up with the dbs you just keep cutting out cutting in really short cuts so it can mess them up as you can see, I have a beautiful burn right there and i can mag it if he throws a perfect pass as you can see he just lobbed it up, but it's all right, and I still caught it. This is also one of my other favorite ones, too, is instead of doing short zigzags, you do deep zigzags, as you can see. Look, I do deep zigzags, and what it does is, right, like, basically, that's all it does. You get a beautiful length opening right there for an easy touchdown if the QB could fit it. But he doesn't fit it, and it's all right, guys. QB tips. Being a QB is pretty hard, and it's one of the most important roles in football. As you can see, I'm going to teach you guys how to throw fits spacing avoiding sacks and how to run the ball as a qb to help you get better as you can see if you, any of you guys are main qb is really helpful so when you throw a fit usually what most people do they just overthrow it and this is what it looks like the ball is way over impossible to catch and that's just out of bounds or incomplete now to throw a fit it's really hard to explain but you just got to practice being a qb more often and you just got to predict a, like how far they are is how you do. I would do 95 power though as a QB because 95 is my perfect power for fitting as you can see. Like look right here, beautiful fit. Basically you want to aim over their head by like probably like half the screen above their head right there. You want to just aim up more and then spacing is also really important. As you can see the DB and the wide receiver are far apart. So I'm just going to throw it right to the wide receiver for easy catch right there as you can see. This is the outcome is going to be complete catch. This is not what to do. Let's say I throw it straight to the wide receiver, right? And I don't lead him at all. It's going to be an easy interception as they're close. But as you can see, I got lucky with the DB missing it. And it's going to result in incomplete or interception usually. Now, what you want to do is if they're short or close together, you want to throw it more to the side where he is running so he can do a lead pass. I know rushing is also hard. This is what you don't want to do. You see, I got two rushers on me. I'm running around. I'm running to the corner. I'm trying to run it or do something. As you can see, I get stuck. I can't go anywhere. And so I get sacked. That's the outcome. That is not what you want to do right there. 
Instead, what you want to do is you want to take him to one side of the field and start doing cuts on the other side. As you can see, it would be unpredictable for him to tackle you, and he will not be able to read you. As you can see, he's going to try to predict it, and you could just basically just juke him out every time. Look at this. All the spacing. He's not even near me or anything. Look at that right there. Beautiful. Now, when you get double rushers and you have no blockers, it's pretty hard, but it's really easy. If they're not that smart, just go right through the middle because they can't get you and just keep doing it because they're going to try to space you out and get you to somewhere. But if you just run right through the middle, they're not going to expect it that much at all. Like, look at this right through the middle. Just keep doing it. And see, I got three rushers. Now, what you do here is basically the same thing. You do cuts, all of them combined. You run right through the middle and they won't be able to get you. As you can see, he's waiting right there, right there. And I'm going to do a little cut between the middle right there and i got sacked that was stupid don't do that running i like running what usually i do is when i do a kiwi sneak i'm gonna go to one side of the field and i'm gonna run the opposite i'm gonna juke come out and do a little jump so i have the less chance of getting tackled and bam i'm gone so as i'm right here usually what most de's are gonna do is they're gonna try to dive right here so what i always do is i do a little step back because they're always gonna dive and right here, I'm going to do the same thing. But right here, as you can see, he's going to dive. I usually go right to out of bounds. So if I do get tackled and I fumbled, it's going to be out of bounds for a fumble and no one gets the ball. So right here is another perfect example of running. See, I got two people trying to tackle me. I'm going to do a step back right here, which they're going to get juked on. And then another step back right here, hopefully, in which it does happen, I juke him. And you're gone, basically. That's all it takes. Now, being a DB and a DE is a really important tip, too. It can be either hard or really easy if you know these tips. Guarding, swatting, tackling, and rushing. Guarding, swatting, and tackling are really good, and rushing also comes in clutch when, you're, when you try to play DE. DB is really fun to do, but if you know how to do it, it's fun. All right, as you can see, this is a perfect example of what I'm doing. It's kind of hard to predict where the wide receiver is going to go, but you want to do your best at guarding him, as you can see, in predicting his plays. What I usually do is I stay right by him and in front of them all the time see right here this is not good i always want to be above the wide receiver right like that perfect and if he doesn't come back to stay on him right there that's all it takes for guarding a wide receiver when it comes to swatting you have to be on time as you can see i late the swat and he it results in completed here's another example but instead i early it and i miss it i over it and i suck now what you want to do is you want to time it really good and you want to dive into the wide receiver because the hitbox is better and will result in an incomplete as you can see, tackling is one of the main things in the game because there's a lot of catches. As you can see, I get juked out pretty bad right here, but there is a way to fix it, as you can see. So what you want to do usually is when you want to tackle someone and stay on them and don't get juked out, you want to be right by them, and as soon as you're close, you dive. Another cool thing I do is if they're burning me, you dive at them, you click shift lock, and then you click block at the same time. It'll make you do a little 360 spin, and you'll get the advantage of a tackle. Rushing is also really hard. You just have to learn how to do it. Basically, what you want to do in rushing is you want to stay right on him and shift lock. Right here, shift lock and click block for the best advantage at getting a reaching tackle for a sack. I hope this video came in clutch for you guys. I hope it helps you guys. It took me literally two hours to make this. I don't know why. But anyway, I hope you guys enjoy, and I'll see you guys later. But watch this beautiful pass I did. Holy moly. Goodness.